Yolanda, now let's talk to Firaj Khatib from uh, BBC Arabic. What has the response been on the ground in the immediate vicinity? On the ground, is nothing happening now. Of course, they call for demonstration in the next three days, and we can see it. Uh, well, three days of rage, they call for yeah. that. Right? Um, as a Jerusalem, Jerusalem always um, has a demonstration from the Arab side, and it's not, it's not a quiet uh, city. And um, Israel deals with it. Uh, as a capital. It doesn't matter the recognition of the United States. Israel deals with, uh, deals with uh, Jerusalem, East Jerusalem, always Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And this agreement and consensus inside the Israeli government and in the opposition also. Just like uh, 10 minutes ago, I got uh, SMS from uh, the, one of the leaders of the opposition, Yair Lapid, and he says that all the world must recognize uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. So it doesn't, on the ground, nothing is happening, but it means the recognition of the um, uh, Jewish history for Netanyahu is very important, the, the right-wing narrative. And we are talking about the clash of narratives and things. Uh, okay, so, 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 so what is the political calculation here by, by Donald Trump? I mean, are you were saying that this is some philosophical thing that he's always felt that you know, Israel needs to have the capital in Jerusalem, or, or what is the political um, calculation? Um, as we have seen from his... Um, um, behaviors in the last uh, in the last year is he is unpredictable. Now also in the in the Palestinian issue is not predictable. We are talking about the negotiation that stopped four years ago, and the Palestinians are working hard in order to return back to the uh, uh, negotiation table. And also the Israeli side also wants, in in a way, they said we are we can negotiate without any conditions. Now to come and to the most problematic point in the negotiation and say we are taking side the Israeli side is very problematic. No one is not n now knows w what's going on. No, but this on is going to cause States. problems, though, for strong U.S. allies in the region and in the Gulf, in, in, in particular, isn't it? Yes, but now, uh, since 1974, so the Israelis asked the, the U.S. administration to recognize uh, Jerusalem as a capital, and General Ford also told uh, Yitzhak Rabin back then. He said, "Like, listen, um, I promise you, but what can I? Uh, what I see from the White House, I can't see from from outside." So. We can, we just, we will postpone it, and I promise to do it in the future. However, now what uh, uh, Trump had done is, is, is a little bit problematic because nobody knows exactly what he wants. Is it part of, of a solution? Is it part of, a, of, of his theory, just like to be biased to Israel? On the other hand, we can see the Arab world is uh, fragmented. We can see the Arab world is in his problems. And now we see the Saudis are busy with the Iranian issue, and the Egyptians are uh, inside Egypt. And we are, we are seeing Syria. We are seeing Iran. Everything is, everyone is busy with his own problems. Now, it's very good timing for Israel and the United States. If they want to recognize uh, Jerusalem as a capital, is the timing according to Trump ad administration. All right. Uh, Fidel Skati for now. Thank you uh, very much.